Good morning, church. Good morning. So let's start out with some questions. What are you working for? What are the results? A new car, a new house, retirement, college education for your kids, the basics, maybe all of the above. Last question, what is the work of God? We have our answer from Jesus, and if you want, you can follow in the Gospel of John. We're going to read from chapter 6, and we'll read from verses 26 through 40. John chapter 6, verses 26 through 40. To give a little background and context, Jesus on the previous day, probably in Bethsaida, performed the miracle of feeding the 5,000. In John 6, 19, John recounts Jesus walking on the water. In 26 through 40, the crowd has followed Jesus and the disciples to Capernaum. So follow with me as we pick up, starting in verse 26. Jesus answered, very truly I tell you, you are looking for me, not because you saw the signs I performed, but because you ate the loaves and had your fill. Do not work for food that spoils, but for food that, en that endures to eternal life, which the Son of Man will give you, for on him God the Father has placed his seal of approval. Then the people asked him, what must we do to do the, work, the works God requires? Jesus answered, the work of God is this, to believe in the one he has sent. So they asked him, what sign then will you give that we may see, in, see it and believe you? What will you do? Our ancestors ate the man in the wilderness as it is written. He gave them bread from heaven to eat. Jesus then said to them, very truly I tell you, it's not Moses who has given you the bread from heaven, but it is my Father who gives you the true bread from heaven. For the bread of God is the bread that comes down from heaven and gives life to the world. Sir, the people, they asked him, always give us this bread. Then Jesus declared, I am the bread of life. Whoever comes to me will never go hungry. And whoever believes in me will never be thirsty. But as I told you, you, because they've been with him for a few days, have seen me, and still you do not believe. All those the Father gives me will come to me, and whoever comes to me I will never drive away. For I have come down from heaven not to do my will, but to do the will of him who sent me. And this is the will of him who sent me, that I shall lose none of all of those he has given me, but raise them on the last day. For my Father's will is that everyone who looks to the Son and believes in him shall have eternal life, and I will raise them up at the last day. So from this passage, we, we have our answer to what is the work of God, and it's simple. The one thing God asks from us is simply to believe in Jesus. So today as we come, we believe, we know. Jesus died for us on the cross, rose, and that we now have that path to God and the path to eternal life. As we take the bread and cup today, let us reflect on the sacrifice Jesus made and thank God for giving us his one and only son. For through Jesus, his death on the cross, burial, and resurrection, God offers us three things. Unconditional forgiveness of our sins, adoption as his children, and eternal life. Let us pray. Our Father in heaven, we thank you for this day that you've given us. We thank you for your son. We thank you for his broken body. As we take this bread, help us remember that and Jesus' sacrifice on the cross. And through his name we pray to you. Amen.
pray for the cup. Our Father, we thank you again for sending your son horrible death on the cross where he shed his blood which now forgives our sins. Thank you for this fruit of the vine. Pray that we take it worthy in a worthy manner, reflecting on that death. Thank you so much for Jesus. Thank you for him. And it's through his name we pray. Amen. Amen.